Around 400,000 years ago, Neanderthals emerged in Europe. They populated Europe and Asia for 300,000 years until about 50,000 years ago. Many scientists theorized that Neanderthals were inferior to Homo sapiens in many ways, and they competed with Homo sapiens for limited resources. This is what eventually led to their extinction. There were already very few Neanderthals on Earth to begin with. Estimates put their entire global population at 50,000 at the height. But what if Neanderthals and humans found a way to live amongst each other? How would it change history and future? generations. Today, life's biggest questions asks, what if Neanderthals didn't go extinct? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, I'm Charlotte Dobre. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know in those comments a topic that you would like to see on this channel. Neanderthals looked like cavemen. In fact, the stereotypical idea of a caveman comes from Neanderthals. They had big noses, pronounced brow ridges, big foreheads, they had short legs and broad shoulders. But that doesn't mean that they were all that different from us, and certainly doesn't mean that they deserve the rep they've gotten as being stupid and having poor genes. Homo sapiens are 99.84% genetically identical to Neanderthals. Not only that, but Neanderthals had bigger brains than Homo sapiens. Intelligence isn't necessarily related to brain size, but I included this fact to make the point that the brain of a Neanderthal likely operated in the same way as a Homo sapiens brain. Somewhere between 51,000 and 39,000 years ago, Neanderthals and humans began to live among each other. Homo sapiens first arrived in Europe from Africa, but the Homo sapien arrival in Europe also marked the downfall of Neanderthals. No one knows exactly why the Neanderthals went extinct, but their extinction happened right around the time of the Ice Age, which leads many scientists to believe that they could not adapt to the colder climate. Another hypothesis is that Homo sapiens passed on diseases to them that they were vulnerable to because they didn't have good genes. So in order for Neanderthals to not die out, they would have had to refrain from breeding with Homo sapiens, which is something that they definitely did. Yes, I know it might be hard to imagine that Homo sapiens could be attracted to Neanderthals, but there is plenty of evidence to suggest that interbreeding did happen. So obviously some were. Either that or the interbreeding could have been the result of rape, we just don't know. Back to my point, in order for Neanderthals to have remained separate from humans, they would have had to refrain from mating with them. Maybe Neanderthals were driven into remote pockets by the advancing Homo sapiens into Europe. There's plenty of evidence out there to suggest that Neanderthals were just as smart as early Homo sapiens. They had complex communities, culture, they cared for their sick and had burial rituals which meant they could have been religious. There is even evidence to suggest that they practiced early forms of dentistry. If Neanderthals hadn't gone extinct, perhaps they would have found a way to create their own civilizations. Maybe their colonies could have remained in parts of Europe until the modern era. But according to Will Harcourt Smith, anthropologist and professor at City University of New York, if Neanderthals had not gone extinct when they had, they would have been assimilated or killed off eventually. Similarly, Homo sapiens probably would have looked down on Neanderthals. There were way more Homo sapiens than Neanderthals, all competing for the same resources. One can assume that Homo sapiens would have found a way to enslave them. Neanderthals would have been regarded as second class citizens, much the way people of other races were regarded until the modern era. I'll leave you with one last thought. Modern genetic analysis has determined that modern Eurasians have one to 4% Neanderthal DNA in their genome. Because of this, one can argue that Neanderthals never went extinct at all, and their species simply disappeared after thousands and thousands of years of interbreeding and assimilation with early humans. So in a way, Neanderthals didn't go extinct to begin with, and their ancestors are living among us. What do you think the world would be like if Neanderthals hadn't gone extinct? Let us know in those comments below. For now, I'm Charlotte Dobre, and you've been watching Life's Biggest Questions. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our playlist Biggest What Ifs. Make sure notifications are turned on by clicking the bell and we'll see you in the next video.